I feel really angry about what's happening. If it needs a revolution, it needs riots, it needs people to stand up and take control, we need to go down that direction. I'll walk out of this room, I'll go back to Brixton, that's why I go next. And I'll canvas and I'll motivate a generation of black people to start thinking, we've got to stop this from happening. There's a bottom line at some point, you have to say no, no more. And with the racism in a medical discipline, like psychiatry, I think one has to say no more. There's a widespread acknowledgement that there are racial disparities in mental health. And it's like, we can talk about race as if it exists in absolute terms. We can talk about racial inequalities or disparities, but not racism. Conversations about race and, and mental health can be um, either performative or marginalised. I see the performative conversations all the time. Those conversations, what they do is that they talk about diversity rather than talking about whiteness. I think it's time to have uncomfortable conversations. People who are caught up in the mental health system do experience it as racist. My community have been imprisoned wrongly under a, a mental health act, which is a construction. It's not a science. Similarly, I'm not black. I become black in their science. How do you become part of a society where you are consistently seen as an unsafe person to be around? What does that do to your mental health? Where are people's hearts in this? Do they actually want to do this, or is this, this looks bad? Where is the recovery for the racism? You can't cure racism with a tablet. Can we expect the system to change? Institutional racism requires institutional reform. We really need to highlight the structures and how the structures create the inequalities, and how the structures oppress, how the structures discriminate. Institutional culture that needs policing, black people are dying. There is an urgency. The issue of white supremacy and the impact of white supremacy, structurally, it's something that began 400 years ago, 500 years ago, that is impacting still today. That impacts on how we train people, impacts on how we develop systems, the educational institutes that uphold all of this. The identity of the system is so wrapped up in preserving what it's got. They've never been asked to question the way things are or the way things are run. The person who decides the structure, they see it from their point of view. I was trained as a young psychologist uh, about my own inferiority. The system has a, you know, a stack of weapons, let's call it that. There are those communities or groups of people who are just, they, they've been slapped too many times, so they don't want to have anything to do with anything institutional or systemic at all, because they know it's racist, and they, don't, they just lost that trust. There's something going on as vicious as nasty, as direct racism. Why are people getting all the way through their training to doctorate level and they've not read anything whatsoever that helps them understand, helps them engage, helps them know about the self-psychology of black people, but they come out so-called qualified and are running the system? You're not criticising science by saying that psychiatry is racist. You're criticising people who devised a social cultural system. Its design, its architecture is fundamentally flawed because it's kind of been built on implicit and some explicit kind of discriminatory racist ideologies that have kind of shaped it. And I don't know how we break it. One of the things that makes institutional racism so powerful is that it's invisible. The cost of it being invisible is that we are all complicit. This hour-length documentary film is a hard-hitting look at the impact of institutional racism in mental health services in the UK, told from a social justice perspective. 
We're doing it pro bono. The money that we're hoping to raise, we are only spending on travel, honorariums for interviewees. Going to be some emotional labour involved in that, and I think people should be paid for that. Childcare costs, in case that would prohibit anyone getting involved, and venue hire. Institutional racism within mental health services needs to be challenged because it's insidious, it's all around us, it's within us, it affects our relationships with racialised others. It's often an issue that's seen as abstract or theoretical. This film will bring it to life, will show that it is real.